Hi everyone, uh, so in this video I'm going to be going over um, how to fix a wrong aperture readout on a Contax RX. Um, I was having this issue when I first got my camera where um, you'd turn the camera on and if it was set into AV or M, um, it would show the wrong readout. So if it was the lens was on 16, the viewfinder would say 13, or if uh, the lens was on like 5.6, it would say 6.5, 9.5. Like this would say one four, but this would say one seven. So it was it was quite the issue, and it was giving me wrong exposures. Um, and I know that this is something that people on forums have also had issues with as well. Um, so I was gonna send it to Nippon Photo Clinic in New York City, the place that does uh, contacts repairs in the United States, uh, and they quoted me two hundred and ninety dollars. Um, so I thought, hey, might as well just deal with it. Um, I'll set my ISO to like half a stop slower so that I could always overexpose to compensate for it. Um, and then I found the manual online and found out that it was a really quick fix. Um, and I was literally robbery for $290 to repair it. Um, so how you repair it is you want to take the back of the camera off or you can open it up, but I like taking it off because it's easier to work with. Um, ooh. Then you want to put the camera down and uh, you're going to want a, a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to want to remove these three screws right here. And then once these three screws are removed, you're gonna to wanna to take this little cover plate off the camera and you're gonna be exposed to this sheet of contacts. Um, power the camera on and then get a pair of tweezers, any tweezers with a metal tip on it. Um, and then you wanna bridge the contacts of these two gold pieces. So make sure they're touching. And then you should see three zeros on the screen there. Set the exposure, the ABC, right? Yeah, the ABC dial to one. And then press the exposure check button and then up. And I'll say 14. And that's actually 1.4. So you're going to want to set your 50 1.4 to 1.4. Press the shutter button and set it to 16. Press the shutter button again, and it'll, that'll show you that it's correct. Um, also, just a quick note, um, according to the manual, you need to have a 51.4 to do this adjustment. Um, if you don't, it probably won't work because the, the whole point of the adjustment thing is um, to set it to 1.4 first and then set it to 16. Um, maybe it would work with an 85 1.4 or 35 1.4, but... Um, Try and get your hands on a 51.4 to make this adjustment. And then you want to put the plate back on. What I do is I get like my screwdriver and I align the holes back with the screwdriver. And uh, don't put all of the pressure down at once. Kind of tighten as you go. Center this back out. There you go. And now, if you look through the viewfinder, you can turn the camera off, turn it back on. Um, I'll show you that the back's uh, open but if you look through the viewfinder and like set it to AV or whatever um where's the lens there you are um <laughs> yeah this isn't gonna focus anyway long story short it's working now um that's how you recalibrate the aperture ring on the contacts rx um i'm gonna try and upload the website where i found the manual at um and explains you how to get into other modes other adjustment modes on the camera but yeah um <laughs>
<laughs> I saved you uh, $290 and a really frustrating trip to um, the post office because Nippon Photo Clinic is like that. Thanks.